So let's say you've just finished your beautiful matte shell nail manicures, or you've just finished some extensions, and now you want to decorate them. I have these cute little decals. It's actually very easy to do. Let me show you how in my five minute mani. Let's get started. Welcome to my five minute mani, where I show you how you can do beautiful designs in five minutes. Now this video is instructional, so I'm gonna take maybe more than five minutes to explain it. But once you get better at it or good at it or get the technique down, you can do this in about five minutes. So let's get started. So I have ordered these adorable decals on Amazon actually. Take a look at them. I love cats, so I thought these were really, really cute. So these are water decals. So all you have to do is get yourself, oh, there's a little one on top of here too. Get yourself a good little pair of scissors and you want a little pair because it's very intricate. Let me get me glasses. Very intricate in there. So get a little pair of scissors and you might want to grab a pair of tweezers too, just to pick them up. So got me water. I did do the other hand because I wanted to show you in the reviews about long nails versus short nails and how they can look. So I don't actually put the whole thing on there. Sometimes I cut them in half and let me show you. I just sort of pick which kitten I think is really cute. So on the thumb, you can go a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna do the full one on the thumb. Let me see here. Let's do, let's do this guy. And they wanna soak them in the water for about, it says about 10 to 20 seconds, but I did find the 20 seconds seems to be better. So I'm gonna take this little guy and pop it in the water. You wanna encourage it to go down because it does float, it's very, very light. So we're gonna give that about 15 to 20 seconds. Get an alcohol soaked cloth and just make sure that your nails are clean of any oil and debris. Just like anything, if there's any oil and debris on there, it won't stick. Now this is a gel polish on top of my nails. You can do it on polish. I would recommend though, if you're gonna do nail polish, let it dry first because you are sliding something onto the surface. If it's not completely dry, you most likely will gunk your nail polish. So let it dry a little bit before you actually do this. So that's about 15 seconds, I'd say. So I'm gonna pick that up. You can dab it on something a little bit if you wanna get rid of some water, but I find if you're doing it on yourself, it's a little bit harder because you're doing it on yourself. So I do find that you can literally, if it's wet enough and it's sliding, Look at that, see I just slid it right off. Then I'm just gonna get a drier little pad, soak up some of the water. And then I'm going to just press with my finger, just make sure there's no wrinkles to get it completely out. Isn't that adorable? Now, these water decals, decals, some people pronounce them, have come a long way. Back in the day when I was doing nails a long time ago, they were so thick, I hated them. But these are so, so thin, you can layer them quite easily. So you can see it can go pretty quick. You just basically wet and slide on. Now I will say when we bought this off of Amazon, this is not a sponsored video at all, but when I bought this, it included five of these individual packages. Karaman, do you remember how much it was? It was no, not I expensive. I don't remember. It was under $10, I think it was like. I'll put it on the screen right yeah. now. Okay, we'll look into that. I just found it was very, very reasonably priced. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other ones. And you can see when I do it, I'm not gonna necessarily do a full cat, maybe just the head peeking over the corner, okay? Now the instructions do say warm-ish water. However, it's very cold in my room right now and the water started warm, but it's actually quite cold now and it's still working really well. I 
actually, I'm just gonna use half of this kitty so it's just sort of peeking up on the nails or like looking over. <laughs> Yeah, I decided I wanted less of body and just more of the head sort of peeking over. That's cute. So once all your decals or decals are on there and you're happy with the placement, make sure they're nice and dry. And now you want to top coat it so you keep it in there so you don't wash it away next time you wash your hands. You can use uh, nail polish if you put nail polish on previously, or you can top coat it with a gel if you use gel previously. That's adorable. So I'm going to top coat it with a clear. It just tends to make it quite flawless. If you see any little part of the decal, which you generally can't, but if you can, this will make it that you can't. It just smooths it right over. can get a little jiggy, which is what I'm going to do. I've got my hollow taco here and I thought it'd be kind of nice to put a sparkle on top and you can do that. So I'm going to grab this one here. Now I do find glitters uh, look really good on a color or even a darker color. It doesn't look as good. It can look good on white, but it's not as good. So I'm going to put it on the green because I did put it on the white on this hand, but I'm gonna put it on the green on this hand and see how we like it. Oh, it's very cute over the color. It's a cute sparkle. Mm-hmm. neat shapes. Yeah, yeah, these ones are neat. That's cute, I love that actually. I think that's adorable. So you can see it's pretty quick, it's pretty easy, and you can do it on either length. I think we need to look at some reveal shots. I actually have a matching set of nails. <laughs> I mean, the lengths and the shapes don't match, but the designs do. These are adorable. Two of my favorite things, nails and cats. Catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for joining me. Hey!